So after an up and down series of results in the last episode, we managed to sail through to the knockout round of the Europa League, topping our group in the process. The same can't be said of the Premier League though, we currently sit 6th, 33 points after 19 games, and we're 5 points behind Chelsea in 4th. And speaking of Chelsea, they will be our next opponents at Allen Road, which will be a massive game. The press are already questioning whether we're ready for the game, but I think we're in excellent shape. And due to fatigue, we're going to make 3 big changes to the starting 11. Popescu's going to come in for Sinistera, Windal's going to come in for Luka Nets, and also Aronson's going to come in for Jacob Ramsey. 27 minutes in, Leeds have a free kick here. Kalulu's going to take this short to Aronson. It's not the best free kick. He manages to keep hold of it though. Adi Yemi gives that to Shaparenko. Tries to shift it on his left. Kukurella's there. 41 minutes in, going to be a Chelsea counter-attack, which Kante is going to lead. Kalulu's going to come out and try and reach him, but he doesn't. He sprays it all the way out wide to Sterling. Pedro Porro trying to chase him down. He manages to keep with him, but Sterling cuts inside. Osserman, Pedro Porro's there. It's a lead solo run here. It's going to be Adi Yemi. Played into his path. Looks like he's one step ahead of Chilwell. And he is. He's going to try and drive into the box. It's too heavy a touch. Free kick for Chelsea. 79 minutes in. Going to be Sterling who's going to take it for them. Is he going to go short or is he going to try and dink this one into the box? He tries to put it in the box. It's headed by Koulibaly and it's headed into the back of the net. It's going to be a Leeds United counter-attack though. 80 minutes played. Aronson to lead the way here. The ball's going to fall into his feet. He's got options to the right of him. He chooses the substitute, Jacob Ramsey. Jacob Ramsey tries to play it in. It's horrendous from him again. Here we go then. 84 minutes played. Ziyech tries to play that over the top. Pedro Porro blocks it. Ziyech gets it back though. Has he got the pace to try and get away from Porro? No, he doesn't. So he turns and gives the ball to Osserman. He tries to play it infield. Fagioli reads it. And annoyingly, that is the end of the game. We start off with a 1-0 loss to Chelsea in this episode, and it is exactly what we did not need. And after that game, we now sit 7th, 6 more points off of Liverpool in 4th, and if we want to even qualify for Europe, let alone the Champions League, we need to start putting together a decent run of form. And away at the Molyneux against Wolves is the perfect place to go and do that. A few more changes to the starting 11, Luka Nets back in, as well as Sinistera, Gelhard and Brennan Johnson also coming in. Here we go, first attack of the game, 32 minutes in. Looks like Jacob Ramsey's going to pick it up in the centre of midfield. And my word, he's going to drive forward. Going to try and lay this off into the path of Shaparenko. We couldn't do it. We're going to get another opportunity though. 35 minutes in, the ball's going to go out wide to the right-hand side to Shaparenko. He goes in field to Brennan Johnson. Brennan Johnson looks for Shaparenko once again. Can he try and fling this across the box? He can! And Gelhard couldn't get on the end of it. Here we go, 50 minutes played. Looks like Wolves are going to have an opportunity with Anthony. Is he the man who's on loan maybe from Manchester United? I don't quite know. Lays it out wide to Insignia. Wow. Couldn't imagine him playing for Wolves. And now they have it again and they strike. Great save. 78 minutes in. We've got an opportunity to try and counter here. Looks like it's going to be Brennan Johnson. And it looks like he's got acres of space to try and run into. He's going to switch it to his right. He does do that. Just, in fact, runs into the box. He's hit it against the goalkeeper. 18 minutes played here. Wolves have a free kick in a dangerous area. Are they going to try and float this one in? Or are they going to go short? They go short. Go out wide to Collins. Collins blocked by Dan James. He's got another try though. Out wide to Musiala. I forgot he actually got transferred from Wolves earlier on in the summer transfer window. They get it back though. Anthony has it straight into Melier. And it's game over here at Wolves. And yet again, we fail to score. It ends here nil-nil. And that's another two points dropped. And something's got to change at the moment because this form cannot continue. And I'm thinking it's going to have to be our formation. And I'm thinking I'm going to switch to a 3-4-2-1. I'm going to drop both of these midfielders into a wing-back position. And I'm hoping that might give the likes of Luca Nets and Pedro Porro license to try and drive forward on either side. It also means though that I'm going to have to drop my central defensive midfielder in Varela and then hopefully that might give the likes of Ben Godfrey an opportunity to slot in at the back and the first opportunity we've got to try and put this formation to good use is a home game at Allen Road against Nottingham Forest in the FA Cup and just when I thought things couldn't get any worse our formation does not work we get knocked out 2-0 by Nottingham Forest in the FA Cup and we still can't seem to get a goal now we are midway through the January transfer window and I'm just going to take a pause on some of the matches as we do have some business to cover now as I mentioned in the previous episode our backup goalkeeper Joel Robles his contract is expiring in six months and he is refusing to sign a new one and with only 10 million in the transfer budget, we've got some work to do to try and find a new one. But the work has been done. I've identified Manuel Neuer and Kaylor Navas as two potential keepers we can buy. And even better than that, whilst Manuel Neuer is going to cost us about 14.9 mil, Kaylor Navas we can pick up on a free as his contract's up in six months. And picking him up on a free is exactly what I'm going to try and do. 60k in wages, 300 grand signing bonus. That surely should do the trick. And he is very, very happy with that. There we go. Kaylor Navas is going to be in in the next transfer window. The board are absolutely delighted with it. It's an excellent deal. And he'll be coming in on a free transfer. And actually, I've forgotten. That also completes one of my board objectives in terms of signing a veteran player as well. But back to the Premier League we go. Seventh against sixth. Leeds against Manchester United. What a 
massive game this is going to be. And it may have failed the first time round, but I am going to give this formation another go. Gelhard is the only change. He comes in for Adeyemi. Oh, tried to go out wide to Pedro Porro, but Lamar intercepts very well. And now Lamar driving forward on this left-hand side, dinks it in. The extra defender in bed, Godfrey, gets there first. He's going to lay that into the path of Dan James. Dan James goes in field to Pedro Porro, who finds himself in central midfield. Sinistera out to Lucanet, crosses into the far post. No one's there. Jacob Ramsey on this right-hand side, just trying to shape an angle to see if we can get a ball in the box. Jacob Ramsey on his left, tries to bring it onto his right, does the right thing, crosses it in, straight into the goalie's hands. Yeah, Ray. Oh, it's a wonderful challenge from Gelhard. Gelhard to strike. He does. It's off the bar. Can we get the rebound? We can't. Jacob Ramsey, nice turn away, but Casemiro reads it very well. Has the ball, lays it off into Ronaldo. Ronaldo back out wide to Alfonso Davies, looking for the ball across, and it's into the back of the net, and it's an own goal from the central defender, Kalulu, to Lucanets. Lucanets goes in field, looks for Gelhard. Gelhard looking for options, goes out wide to Pedro Porro. He's going to try and throw in a first-time ball into the box for Jacob Ramsey. Jacob Ramsey out wide to the right-hand side. We've got a spare man on the right-hand side, and his name is Pedro Porro. Switches onto his left foot. Can he try and put a ball in? He can. It's the sinister, oh my word. Ericsson, Lamar, gives that away to Kalulu, but he gets out-muscled by Ronaldo. Ben Godfrey is there again. He's had a terrific game at the back. Lulu tried to play that forward. No one there. Acuna intercepts. Now Ericsson has it for Manchester United. Tries to play it over the top. He does just that. Into the path of Sancho. Sancho with the power shot. Great save. It's into Adeyemi. Adeyemi can't find Brennan Johnson. And Ericsson now has it for United. We are definitely over. Over the time. Melier saves. And Christensen now the substitute will collect. Kalulu now has it. We can't strike a counter-attack. It's game over. Yet again, for the fourth game running in this episode, we fail to get a goal and we lose here at Ellen Road. It's 1-0 to Manchester United. And after that game, our slide away from Champions League football continues. We're in seventh with 34. Liverpool now nine points clear of us in fourth. And with Newcastle United up next, the games just keep getting harder and harder. I am sticking with this formation, though. I am absolutely determined to make it work. And three changes to the team that lost to United. Adeyemi, Aronson and Windau all come in. 23 minutes, though, and Newcastle now have their own counter-attack. It's Bruno Gamar. Is. Lovely ball out wide to Berardi now. He's trying to get past Struk and he does just that. He's got space to run into on this right-hand side. He's looking for options in the box. Doesn't have any good defending. And it's going to be Dan James to take it. I'm going to try and aim this one into the penalty spot. We aim it into Adeyemi. Don't manage to get our head on it. Sinistera though. Back out wide to Dan James. Shifts it onto his right. Tries to dink it in. He does. Straight to the keeper. 68 minutes in though. We now have our own counter-attack. And it's Varela who's now going to get hold of the ball. Into Dan James. Dan James has the pace to try and burst out wide onto this right-hand side. Can he pick a man up in the box? He cannot. Pedro Porro on the right-hand side. Lays that off to Dan James. Dan James, nice footwork from him. Shifts it onto his left. Going to try and find a ball in. He does. Almost. And that is that at the end of the game. And once again... We fail to score. What on earth is going on in this episode? It's nil-nil here against Newcastle. And with results just not coming on the pitch, I've now got my captain, Pascal Stroop, coming to me and asking me what on earth is going on. And desperate times call for desperate measures, and I'm going to switch up my formation again. But this time I'm going to go with two up front, Adeyemi and Sinistera, with Aronson's going to get his opportunity to go back to playing as a cam. And with West Ham as our next opposition, this is going to be the perfect opportunity to test this new formation out. And here we go then, Adeyemi is going to pick this up. Looks like he's going to be one-on-one -on -one with the defender. Going to try and wait for the run of Gelhard. That wasn't the ball I wanted to play originally. Gelhard drives in though. Gelhard sticks it in the back of the net. And finally, we have our first goal of the episode. We take the lead here at the London Stadium. It's 1-0 Leeds. And my word, it feels good to say that. On this left-hand side, he's going to try and play it into Gelhard. Gelhard picks it up. Good stuff from us so far. Looking for an option. Plays it in field to Aronson. Aronson's going to lay it off to Shaparenko. I was looking for the run of Pedro Porro. Couldn't find him. Ended up giving it back to Ramsey. We're just playing this around on the edge of the box as no one's creating any angles for me. Gelhard now. Into Aronson. Aronson tried to find Adeyemi. Just couldn't. 90 minutes. We've literally got one more minute in this game and a West Ham attack to try and hold on desperately to this 1-0 lead. Corne picks it up on the left-hand side. Shaparenko trying to come across to block him. He can't do it, though. Corne still has the ball in the penalty area. Shaparenko with the challenge. It's a great one. And that is the end of the game. It's not a high-scoring affair, but I just don't care. We finally score, and we finally pick up our first three points of this episode. And now Pascal Stroop coming to me and telling me how much the changing room has improved. It is amazing what one win can do. But with us sitting in eighth place and Manchester City up next in the Premier League, that improved atmosphere might not last for much longer and of course I have to stick to the formation that did get us the win in the end and as you can see no changes for Manchester City what options has he got up ahead of him 
Jacob Ramsey lays it off to Shaparenko. Looks for Pedro Porro down this right-hand side. He's going to try and look in field, but it looked like, I think it was Gelhard who just strayed offside. So Pedro Porro is going to keep the ball. Goes in field this time for Shaparenko. Tried to give it to Ramsey. Lost it. We've got a free kick here in a really dangerous position. Jacob Ramsey going to try and whip this one in. He does just that. Almost got our head on it. Can we get the rebound? No, we can't. Aronson now has it in the centre of the park. He's going to go out wide to Windau. Windau goes back in field, trying to find Aronson, but instead found Gelhard. Gelhard into Adeyemi. Can Adeyemi turn and try and get it on his left? He can! 78 minutes in, and we have the chance to get ourselves 1-0 up here with a free kick. Pedro Porro is going to take this. Going to try and put it into the top corner. It hits the wall on the rebound with his left foot just wide. Rodri with the counter-attack, tried to play a wonderful ball through right over the top to Lozano. It was a poor touch in the end from him. Ended up taking it back. Wind down now trying to chase. He does great defending. And that is that for the end of the game. And once again, playing the highlights, it ends here. Nil-nil at Ellen Road. We don't concede, but we don't score once again. It's two points dropped. It's one point gained. But my word, do we bounce back against Burnley. Finally, some goals. It's a 4-0 win. Sinistera, Kalulu, Jacob Ramsey and Gelhard all getting on the score sheet. And that is just... Just what the doctor ordered. And with Southampton up next, I've got the press now asking me if they think they're going to get the better of us, but I fancy our chances. And due to fatigue, there's only going to be one change to the starting 11 that beat Burnley 4 0. Gerhard's going to have to come back in for Sinistera up front. Smallbound tries to drive it out wide to Martinelli, who now finds himself playing for Southampton. Whether he's there on a permanent deal or on loan, I don't know, but it's a good stop from Melier. Oh, he's challenged there by the Southampton midfielder. Smallbone plays it into St. Graven, and he puts it almost in the back of the net. Big save from Melier. Looks like Martinelli's going to have this corner for Southampton. He does just that. Tries to play it inside the six-yard area. Headed away from Shaparenko. Martinelli picks it up once again, though. Smallbone has it. Strikes over the bar. He tries to lay it in field. Windows there. And Aronson gets there ahead of him. Can he play a ball over the top? I'm going to try and go all the way over to Adeyemi. It's a wonderful ball. We just can't get on the end of it. Mara back to Fofana. Fofana back to Mara. Into the box. Great strike against the bar. Chaparenko goes back in field. Finds Aronson. Aronson's going to try and go over the top. Wonderful ball out wide to Windal on the left wing. He's going to try and play it into the box. There's no one at the far post. Mara heads it back down to him though. He now gives it to Smallbone. Smallbone has it again. Ben Godfrey is there once again. And in this right central defensive role, he's been absolutely outstanding. Jacob Ramsey now out wide to Windau. Windau goes in field for Gerhard. Gerhard turns. Gerhard can't get the strike away. Going to try and play this ball all the way over to Pedro Porro on the right-hand side. Pedro Porro has space to pick out a pass. He picks out a cross. And he lays it out, out wide to Windau. Windau with a ball across. We still can't get our head on it. And instead he ends up going, well, he ends up turning all the way and manages to give it to Smallbone. Ben Godfrey once again. And it's into Smallbone. No one putting a challenge in on him. Ben Godfrey tries to, but can't quite make it for Fana. Into Mara. Kalulu tries to block him off. And it's a great save. Southampton with the corner. They swing this one in. It's a great ball. And it's an even better save. Sinistera looking for options. We are getting pressed by Southampton here. Varela now into the path of Lucanet. I'm trying everything to try and work an angle. No one's making any angles for me. And in the end, we give it away again. And it's game over here at Elm Road. It's another game where we fail to score. And we cannot seem to buy a goal at the moment. It ends nil-nil. And in spite of our woes in front of goal, we still somehow find ourselves in sixth place in the Premier League. The only problem, though, is the gap between the European places and ourselves is starting to grow. And we're going to finish off this episode with an away game to Bournemouth. And I am praying to the gods that we can try and find ourselves some goals here. Drew has it. He's going to look forward to Aronson. Aronson picked up a wonderful pocket of space. Gives it to Shaparenko. Pedro Porro is marked on the right-hand side, so I'm going to twist and turn back to Aronson. He gives it to Jacob Ramsey. I was looking for options on the left-hand side. We can't find any. And Jacob Ramsey ends up losing the ball. Bournemouth pick it up again, though. Right on the edge of the box. Into the path of the striker. And Melier is there. Brilliant save. 46 minutes in, right as we start this second half. We have an opportunity to put ourselves 1-0 up from the spot, and we don't take it. 62 minutes in, we are counter-attacking here with Jacob Ramsey. He's going to drive forward. It's great stuff from him so far. Going to try and play it into the path of Sinistera. He checks back onto his right. He's looking for the run of Pedro Porro. Pedro Porro is slow, though, and again we give it away. And it's all over here at Bournemouth. What is going on this episode? I cannot seem to pass the ball anywhere. 
Can't seem to stick the ball in the back of the net. And it's another nil-nil at the Vitality Stadium. And that is where we're going to end this episode. Knocked out of the FA Cup inside the first round to Nottingham Forest. And in the Premier League, we find ourselves in eighth place. Eight points now behind Chelsea, who also have a game in hand on us. But if you have enjoyed this episode, please feel free to like and subscribe. It will do the channel a world of good. And I'll see you again next time.